I'm on the phone with Manta Musa from MoneySmartLife.org. And Manta, sometimes we just use those credit cards way too much and our credit utilization ratio is way too high. So that's what we're going to talk about, ways to um, fix that a little bit. Right. And we're going to talk about a specific strategy. You know, sometimes because of emergencies or whatever, your credit utilization ratio can get out of whack. And as we know, that's 30% of your credit score. And if your credit utilization ratio, in other words, how much of your limit are you using, gets above 30% or so, then it starts to negatively impact your credit score. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about how you can manage that if you have a situation where you're not able to pay your credit card balance in full every month and you're carrying a balance and you need to manage your credit utilization ratio. Here's how you do it. Number one, know what your statement date is. Number two, know what your due date is. Those are two important dates. Okay. Now let's say, for example, your statement date is the 15th. Whatever balance you have on your credit card on the 15th, that is what's going to be reported to the credit bureaus. The credit card company is going to generate a statement and say, you owe us this money, but they're also going to put that amount as saying what's owed when they report for that month to the credit bureau. Okay. Now, let's say your due date is on the 5th of the next month, right? Mm -hmm. So your statement date's on the 15th, your due date's on the 5th. Well, what happens between the 15th and the 5th is you will generally continue to use the credit card. Right. And that will generate what's known as a current balance. There's a difference between a statement balance and a current balance. The current balance is a combination of the statement balance and any other charges that have not been billed to you yet. Mm -hmm. So in order to manage your credit utilization ratio, first of all, you've got to pay your statement balance by the due date. That's a given. Right. But the other thing you can do is pay your current balance before the statement date. For example, if I had $100 that was on my statement that was billed on the 15th, I charged another $100 between the 15th and the 5th, then I paid $100 that I owed on the 5th. And if I pay the additional $100 before the next statement date, then my statement will report as zero. Right. That's how you fix your credit utilization ratio. Focus on paying the current balance down before the statement date. Ooh, that is so good. I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to look at my statements to see what is what. <laughs> right. Current balance, statement balance, due date. you yes. got to pay it by the due date. Whatever you do, pay by the due date. Absolutely. But look at the current balance, the difference between current balance and statement balance. That's what's going to be reported on your next credit report. Pull that down, improve your credit utilization ratio. Absolutely. Man, that was great advice. And you can get great advice like that on moneysmartlife.org and the archives at TakeControlTuesday.com. Mansa, thank you. Thank you.